Okay, what we got here is a Tama Swing Star. Uh, this is a rack tom that we're going to be recovering. And the first thing that we have to do after, obviously after removing all the hardware, is we have to remove this finish. And uh, in this case, the reason why we're going to do it is there's so many divots in there that you can see um, that it's not going to look good when we put our wrap on top of it. Um, but that leads to the issue of the badge. And uh, that's the point of making this video, really. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see that badge is serial numbered. And the client this drum belongs to wants that serial number to remain intact. They want the original badge, you know, uh, as close as possible with that air vent, which you'll notice that air vent is a stamp in. So there it is. Um, so we have to remo we have to remove that. Uh, it's a crimp type, uh, not like pearl where they sleeve two pieces together. This is more of a of a, where you've got to smash in the backside to get it out or drill it out. Um, but anyway, so that's that's what we're going to do here. So now, as you can see, we've got the air vent removed uh, without any damage to the plate, except for where it got stamped in originally. You can see the little ring around there, but there's nothing we can do about that. Um, that's for manufacture. But anyways, um, so the badge is in all good shape. If you look at the inside of the shell, where we removed the vent from, by crimping in the corners, let me find it here, there it is. You'll see there's no damage there, except for when they originally drilled the holes, there's a little bit of fray that always happens when they build drums. You can see it's the same around, you know, the, uh, the lug holes. You get that little bit of fragment, you know. But, uh, but yeah, so we didn't damage the hole at all. Uh, still same diameter. And uh, now we get to remove that nameplate. Okay, so removing this nameplate here. This is one of the types that's completely adhesive on the back side of that plate. And it's sticking it right to the actual Delmar coating. Um, now, we want to get this thing off of there. So what I usually do, and people always ask me, gee, Brian, why do you have a long thumbnail? Well, the reason why is because I like to slip it under the edge of these badges and feel for a area that my thumbnail will easily slip underneath, like right there. And you can see I can lift up the edge of it very slightly. I'm not trying to pull it up, I'm just trying to see if I can actually fit up underneath there, which I can, and I've got a lot of good distance in there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a putty knife, which is this little tool right here. Let me back up. And uh, this is what I use. It's just a kitchen utensil, but for frosting cakes or some crap. But uh, I found this thing years ago, and I've been using it on name badges ever since because it's got the perfect shape to get up underneath there. It's flat enough where you can get underneath that badge and then be able to run around it without, uh, without destroying the badge. So anyways, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I lifted up the edge of that badge where I was showing earlier with my thumbnail, and I was able to successfully slip my blade of my uh, cake, cake battering knife, or whatever you call it, uh, cake frosting knife, uh, up underneath there without crimping the badge at all. It's not distorting the badge in any way. It's just lifting it slightly off the shell, which it's very close, as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my, my knife in a circular fashion around it and uh, keeping the point as close to the air vent as I can. And you'll see what I'm doing here is I am running my bat and my knife right up in between. Ugh, fix my camera, it's hard to do one-handed. Uh, but fixing, just going straight around. See how easy that is? And what it's doing is it's breaking that double stick adhesive all that's going all the way around that badge. And I'm not damaging the badge at all. And presto, there you have it. So now I've broken free of the badge. You can see the badge is in perfect condition. There's no no damage to it whatsoever. It's it's still retaining its conformity to the shell. Uh, there's no scars or anything, and you can see the adhesive that was on the back side of that that was sticking it down. And I really didn't cause that much damage to that adhesive either. Which, if you wanted to reuse that adhesive, you could. It'll stick on the on the new shell that you're going to put it on. So there you go. The uh, the, the the badge has been successfully removed with no damage.